Tigers head football coach, Michael A. Haywood. Coach, if you could please start us out with an opening statement. After that, the floor will be open for questions. Coach? You know, I think both teams made a really tough game. I think Alcorn did a tremendous job running the outside zone play, um, called the stretch play. And uh, only periodically throughout the night did we stop that play. They came back and started pounding the ball inside on his own play with quarterback Reed and some RPO stuff off of that. And they did a nice job uh, defensively. They made stops when they had to make stops. Uh, we didn't put enough points on the board offensively. We moved the ball, running the ball, ran the ball better uh, this week. Uh, I, we didn't make plays out wide and wide receiver. And uh, when the opportunity was there, we made some big catches. I think uh, Ford made a big catch. Uh, 85 made a big catch. I mean, there were some guys that made some big catches, but he didn't put enough points in the board offense. And then you have Buck 30, uh, Dequan Jones, who was running the middle of the turn. He saw the entire wall converge inside, and so he just cut back outside to the left. And fortunate enough, there, they overconverged, guys stayed on their blocks. Six points on the board uh, for the special teams. Uh, we got to protect the quarterback better, especially when we got a uh, new quarterback in the game. We got to do a better job protecting the quarterback. But we played better tonight. Not good enough to win. Coach, I know you got the the new quarterback and you have to kind of like change your whole game plan and everything. You don't have much time to do all that stuff. What did you like about Dominic's performance today? I liked his, his toughness. He did, a really good, he did a really good job, but he was getting hit because uh, some of the Mike linebacker blitzes, uh, some of the safety blitzes, uh, he was getting hit. And when he got hit, he didn't rattle it. He stepped back up and maintained his composure. And, uh, you know, I think that he threw the ball where he was supposed to throw the ball the majority of the night. Uh, he ran the offense with some consistency, although there were several times in which we had, you know, we had clock management problems. But, you know, that's everybody. That's coaches, that's players, that's everybody. That's not just the quarterback. And we have to do a better job with that, and especially when we're coming out of a timeout. Coach, you mentioned, you know, you ran the ball a little better. You guys had some pretty good catches and you know, didn't score enough points offensively, but what, what's the one aspect of the game that you were pleased the most about? Nothing. We lost. So we didn't tackle well in the first half. We stopped the outside zone. We just stopped the inside zone in the second half. We didn't protect the quarterback well enough. I mean, there are bits and pieces that prohibited us from winning that football. I like Buck Thirty's kickoff return for a touchdown. <laughs> that's, that's what I like. I have to watch the film to see exactly right. I mean, we run, we run a jet sweep, and um, the starting left guard gets hurt, so we put another guard in. We tell him he's on left, he's on right. Linebacker blitz through tackle for a one yard game. There's nobody there to make the tackle. <laughs> You know, and, but he's a freshman, and freshmen make mistakes, and so you have to live with those mistakes. You know, got nervous, first play of the game, ball coming his way, gets a little nervous. Happens. Coach, you just mentioned the, the uh, one thing, or one question I was segueing into freshmen. Uh, like you say, you just have to deal with it you know, because they are freshmen. They're, they're still adjusting. But what do you see out of, that, out of this group as far as freshmen on both sides that are, that are moving forward down the further down the season? Those freshmen are gonna be special. I mean, they, they make some mistakes now. They have mental errors now because they're freshmen. Sometimes the speed of the game is a little bit too fast for them, but that freshman class is gonna be special. I mean, Sometimes you look out there, you get five, six freshmen on the field at one time. Yeah, they're going to be a special bunch. And off the field, they bond well together. Yeah. And that's, that's really good. 
And so I think that bond is going to help them in their careers. And I think they're going to be a great class. Starting quarterback, first game out, <laughs> making adjustments. Was that a positive on? Oh, yeah. It was, it was, he did a really good job making adjustments. I mean, we had some checks in there. It wasn't as complicated as some of the checks that we do have. We had some run to run checks. He did a nice job managing the run to run checks. Uh, you know, that that third down call uh, that we didn't pick up uh, next to the last series, that wasn't his fault. That was our fault as coaches. We called, uh, we called wristband, th we called wristband 11, and then he looked back to the sideline because he forgot what wristband it was. Then they gave him another wristband number. They gave him wristband 13. That's not his fault. That's our fault. And so it was an incomplete pass. I mean, it's not the pass that we should have had. I mean, the pass we should have had was sticks, or we call it crash, where everybody hooks up for 12 yards, you know, and which was a much better play. It was a bad call. So but I think Dom's going to do a really good job. I mean, for his first full game, I think that he did fairly well for his first full, full game. He has a bright career ahead of him. And he's, he's a great kid. Any questions? Looking forward to the next game. Are you just going to go to the film and then move forward you, with oh, this group? No. We have to give the players a week, a day off during the week. Okay. And so we haven't given them a day off yet. So we have to give them um, tomorrow off. All right? So they have tomorrow off. So we won't watch his film until 8 o'clock uh, on Sunday morning. We'll watch it from 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. We'll finish up at 10 40, and they'll be able to go to church. Uh, and then we'll come back on Monday uh, and practice on Monday. Uh, but nothing in which we run on the offense, I mean on defense to this point, can we run next week versus Kennesaw. Not one play. So everything that we run next week will be brand new. One of the things that we did during camp is that we had a couple of Kennesaw days. So we introduced them to the option of a few days during camp. And I don't know how much they're going to retain, you know, with everything that has gone on so far, but they've had some introduction to it. One last question and then I'm done. Seeing a team like that, especially running that option, that option in the middle of the season, how much is that, is that a disruption or a, so much of a, a change of what on, on your daily? Well, it's a change of pace because uh, you have to make sure you don't get very many guys hurt. Because offensive linemen, tight end, slot backs, wide receivers, fullback, tailback, everybody's cut. I mean, they're cutting at the line of scrimmage, they're cutting 5, 10, 15, 20 yards downfield. So everything's going to be different. And so, you know, uh, you have to learn how to be near leg, near shoulder, use shock technique to bounce off and come up and make a play. And then you have to be really quick because they're going to be really fast. So I'm looking forward to it, though. That takes me back to my history. <laughs> the Notre Dame, 82, 82 to 87, playing against Air Force, running that same offense. Then we coasted West Point. We ran the offense. So looking forward to going against it. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks, Coach. Hey, thank you guys.